Let me start recording so I can get better audio. Is that audio good? What's up, everyone? Welcome to a new tutorial. I've been swamped, like absolutely swamped. I took a full-time job, so I am traveling all over. I leave for two weeks at a time, sometimes a month, and I am filming and editing nonstop. I would love to do a video on it um, if I can get the copyright and all that other fun stuff, but I think it's a great topic to talk about because this documentary filmmaking, it's amazing. But what I wanted to talk about is tutorials. Like I want to continue to grind out some tutorials this year just because like, it's important to me. It's such a big part of my life, and I want to help spread and share my creativity with you. Speaking of sharing my creativity, if you guys could please follow me on Instagram, just drop a comment down below. Anything you do really motivates me because if I don't get any feedback, I'm just kind of like, no one cares about my stuff. I'm sad. Like, why am I doing this? Honestly, I do this for you. So if you get positive reactions or if you feel like I have helped you in any way, let me know because that really motivates me to keep making videos. And speaking of videos, today we're gonna be checking out some warp, wave warp effect that I was playing around with and you can create these like lines and glitchy effects and really manipulate it however you want. So let's check out what that looks like and then jump on into the tutorial. Roll the clip. Blah, blah. So as you guys just saw, that was pretty simple. It's awesome and easy. That's the best thing about Premiere is once you know an effect, it's super simple to master, I guess, or play around with. But like I said before, I want to get back into the grind because I have been kind of slacking recently. And that's just because I've been working a lot. But hopefully you guys find some use out of this tutorial. And if you do, I'm gonna keep making them. I'm gonna keep striving to make them the best I can and ultimately trying to help you guys. As you know, I always give away one free version of my Ultimate Effects Pack on tutorials. Just hit the link in the description down below to enter for the giveaway. Hopefully you will win because that thing is sick. I'm trying to spend some more time to update it, but I haven't had time recently. So hopefully a big update is coming soon for that pack. Let's jump on into Premiere because you guys don't want to see this. You want to see the tutorial. Hit that like button, drop a comment, please. It helps. <laughs> All right, we are in Premiere Pro, so let's make this fast and efficient. We have two clips that we're gonna be working with of my lovely girlfriend. We uh, took a trip out to Vegas not too long ago, made a nice vlog. If you wanna check that out, it'll be linked down below. But all you have to do is go to the effects tab and type in warp. And we're gonna drag on something called wave warp. If you drag that onto your clip right away, watch what happens. It's a little wave and it looks kind of cool, but all you have to do is go to the effects tab and now we can start to manipulate it. Over here on the left hand side, we have wave type. You can go from sine to square and honestly just playing around with them, you can really get some interesting effects. Just go through each one and see what you get. For this one, we're just gonna click square and we're gonna start to manipulate it. As you'll see, there are lines now and if we drag the wave height up, you'll see that those lines kind of separate. It separates it by a width and a height value. So you can drag these around and get some interesting effects. Keep in mind, you may want to adjust your settings to about a quarter or a half, depending on your computer. All this does is it ripples a wave based on your parameters. So I found that if you change your direction, you get some interesting effects, as well as your wave speed. So if you drag your wave speed all the way up to 100, watch what happens your computer freaks out because you can't run it right away. So typically I'll click on my clip and select X. That will select the clip I'm working on and then go to sequence, render into out. So yeah, as you can see, when we play back through it, it's kind of creating a little glitch effect or a little stutter horizontal line effect. And the best thing about it is once you create something, you can kind of manipulate it, drag this stuff around however you like. And I like to chop it up. For example, I'll go into my clips, make it a couple frames, and then just come in here and change my effects around the rotation, pretty much everything from speed. And then you'll start to get um, your desired effect. And you can just kind of play around with here and keep chopping it up however you like and really manipulate it to get some interesting effects going on. And I've always play around with a couple frames at a time and then manipulate it and drag around because really when you get down to it, after you start to play back through it, you'll see that you can really manipulate your clip in a way that you haven't been able to before. Um, it's a lot of fun, but kind of looking back at my intro video sequence, you can see that going through here, I just added some cross dissolves and really just stuttered these things around um, to edit to the beat. And that's super simple because you just gotta listen to your audio. 
So yeah, it's fairly simple. All you have to do is adjust your clip around. I would advise doing like little segments at a time and then just dragging that wave warp effect on and manipulating it to get something that you like. Typically, I'm just dragging around the wave height and the wave width to get the look. You can also copy that clip on top of each other and do two waves to really change up the look. And it's honestly just manipulating it around. If you guys want, I can make um, a preset pack with a bunch of these so you can really just click and drag them onto your clip. But when I tell you it is so simple, it really is. Like you can just copy your effects and honestly, you're gonna have to edit this to your individual clips uh, because you aren't just limited to the squares. That's just the example that I'm showing you. You can really change this however you want and use like different things because like this one is an uncircle and it creates like almost a hazy look which is kind of cool and you can kind of go back through here and really get some simple glitch effects if you're trying to glitch to another section of your video. So yeah, if you wanna go somewhere farther up in a clip, you can use this to glitch between those and transition a little bit more seamlessly than you could have done before. So ultimately, that's pretty much it. It's so simple. Um, it's just gonna be you playing around with these effects and seeing what you can do with the wave warp effect. Um, it's not any set, there's no set number that's gonna make this effect look dope. It's really just showing you that you can play around with this and manipulate it however you want to get your image. So for example, if you want to get your lines matching the same, you can change your direction and get those lined up and really play around with this. You can keyframe things, pretty much anything you wanna do is gonna make this effect pop and play around with the different wave types because honestly, every single wave is going to give you a different look. Now, I may be doing another tutorial in the future on these uh, warp effects because you really can do a lot with this. I mean, it's a simple effect. What else do you want me to do? You know, but no, it's good. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know down below. I want to do fast tutorials because I just want to show you something and kind of let you experiment and play because ultimately that's how we get better is we play with, um, we play with effects and then learn what they do and adapt them to our own clip. So if you play around with this effect and you do something dope on Instagram, tag me in it. I will definitely check it out or just shoot me a DM and I will uh, let you know how I feel about it. But also if you guys have any ideas for future tutorials, let me know because I will do that. Like I'm trying to base my content around you and what you guys want and what performs well. But at the same time, I don't want to just do like ever green content, you know, I just want to make it different and unique. So that's all I'm here to do. I'm here to have fun. And if I'm not having fun, I'm not going to do it anymore. So let's have fun together. Ultimately, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know down below. I'm going to start announcing the winners in like the description so I can like pre-record stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. So the winner for this tutorial or this week, whatever the hell, the winner of the contest will probably link down below. Ultimately, thanks again, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Peace.